Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is your love romantic relationship reading for the last week of April 2019. This is for Pisces sign. I hope you're doing well Pisces. Um, this is for you guys. Please universe, what can I get for Pisces? Please for the last week of April 2019 love romantic relationship reading. So your first card, Pisces, is the Hierophant in um, reverse position. You've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. You've got the um, Queen of Wands in reverse. Hermit in upright position. And this is a jumper. And... Um, Page of Wands in upright position. So for the last week of April, Pisces, you've got the Hierophant in reverse. You might be dealing with the Taurus. Um, or it could be you are um, in a... The Hierophant in reverse, this is a... If it's an upright position, this is a commitment. You know, a solid commitment. Um... A commitment, a commitment. This is marriage card commitment. It is a solidification of a commitment because marriage, it's you know, it's it's solidifying legally binding a person, uh, you know, into something of a traditional values. So this is this is really good when it's in upright position. But if it's in reverse, it could describe a situation or um, an actual relationship where it's being. It, it's it's being um it's being questioned it's it's you know it's it's being challenged it's it's um it, it broke down it, it break up a separation something is wrong with a commitment a marriage or a relationship okay it's in reverse um for some of you you're not agreeing all right um uh, for some of you it has something to do with your religion, belief, values, something about indifferences that um, that you and this person um, decided to let go of the commitment, um, letting go, breaking up, and it, it's it's related to values, belief, something of um, for some of you in picking life it could be integrity, for some of you honesty, because um, the uh, the higher pan in upright position, this is something really. Um, following, uh, following what is right, what is traditional and values, and something that is old-ish, but it's been working for so long. Okay, and it, it's it's in reverse in your reading, Pisces. So it could be there's some something about a person's belief, a person's religion, a person's values, an old way, traditional thinking, or process. Um, that is holding back this relationship or this commitment into to, to go in full bloom for some of you or this could just be as simple as a breakup you know I'm not committing anymore or a separation of you know marriage couple you know you you broke your your vow or this is also this describes that um, if you are dating um, non-commitment like we're just dating. I'm, I'm not committing with you. Or a person where it, he or she is going to date you, but he or she cannot marry you because they're, they're already, you know, married or there's an existing, you know, marriage around that's not been sorted. Um, for some of you, this is a discovery. You know, for some of you, I'm picking up, you discover that this person, um, you know, before you actually fall in love or take the take the commitment to a serious level you've you've discovered that they're not they're not really into a marriage kind of thing arrangement or something that um for some of you I'm picking up picking up like it's it's you it's it's good that you've detected earlier that this person it's not gonna commit or a person that it's not gonna offer you the marriage um something something that you've discovered along the way and the ten of wands is here and it's in reverse position for some for some of you for some of you it's it's such a relief right now um it's 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 such a relief right now that you found out that the person that you're dating in communication with um that you know it 
they're not really what you think they are that you're dating someone who's married who has a, a previous or still in in touch or connected or, or still in love with the previous or are currently have an existing relationship and you you find that out and it's it's such a relief that you that you you've kind of found out so for some of you this is good this is good news you know the five of five of ones is here and it's an upright position it's good news that you found out that they're married that they're you know they have you know a side a side fling apart from you for those who's dating and single for some of you this is an actual um um an actual marriage or a relationship um it 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 kind of broke down fallen apart because of a indifferences indifference in terms of beliefs and values and um indifferences of w which way you wanna you wanna go um in terms of life you know because um the queen of wands this is a a card that um if it's an upright position this is long term plan right this is a long term plan this is passionate caring and long term loving person or couple but if it's in reverse it could be that um you've decided that there's no point keeping this marriage or this relationship because you don't see your future with this person like for some of you I'm picking up you cannot coexist with this person with the way they behave their values their the way they the way they do their life you know it's for you uh for some of you i'm picking like you know the, the attraction and the love it's not enough you know there are some rules and the values and old tradition that uh, doesn't work with you know with with this person for some of you you have different ethnicity like different nationality for some of you could have different religion so this this really um you know two 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 strong strong message with the combination of these three cards is that if it's a marriage if it's an actual relationship you guys um you've decided not to talk um there was a breakdown there was a you know um a disconnection um because of some traditional beliefs and values and indifferences okay it's i'm not picking up a third party okay it's more of your values your your behavior your character your your attitude your belief the the belief system of this person is different from yours and your love and attraction and interest is not strong enough that this person is willing to set aside that belief i hope you understand me for those singles um i'm picking up or for some of you it's it's such a relief or a good news that you found out in the very beginning of the process that the person you're communicating dealing dating it's they, they have an existing marriage so you know where you actually will position yourself in terms of dating them like you know what to expect you know it's such a relief that at an early stage of dating of getting to know they've kind of you know inform you that they're married they have kids you know some sort of an upfront um fyi for you it's such a relief because for some of you this standard this setup this past of this person will will not work to your values okay in such a relief that it's it you you found out an early stage and because of that you know the the queen of wands in reverse which is you know it's 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 a sign that you'd have to put an end because you don't think that you could really make this work um to be associated to date to be married to be engaged to be in a relationship with someone who for example is married have kids it's just really personal fair preference or someone that is not of your values tradition all right so yeah so it's it's really something to do with beliefs tradition and differences of each other i'm not picking up third party it's really a strong two different characters two different religion two different ethnicity trying to connect but not successful because the probably the love is not enough to bind or to set aside the the indifferences that we, they've got for some of you you know there's really you know people in here that have or like person situation that they have personal preference in terms of love and romantic that for them they 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 have this ideal love and person that I want and I want 
I want this person, I want a person, I want to fall in love with a person that doesn't have kids or that doesn't have any existing or previous marriage. That's what I want. And it's such a relief that you, you, you've you kind of found out at the beginning before you fall in love or take this thing seriously, you found out. So this that's the three kind of four to five vibe that I'm getting from this combination of card. And then the last two card is you've got the hermit. You might be dealing with a Virgo, but this appears in uh, you know at the, the bottom of the of the hierophant and the ten of wands, which speaks about you know you're using your intellect, you're using your wisdom, you're using your maturity. You know, it's it's like you know what you want. All right, you know people around you will say you're kind of picky or you're. You're, you have some standards or some rules that you need to follow and they can't judge you because this is what you prefer, this is what you want because this is your life. You know what good, you know what goods for, what goods, what, what, what is, what's the good thing that is, um, you know, what good will this bring towards your life? So it's just really personal preference and no judgment kind of thing that this person, a situation is, is thinking by the end of um you know month of of April someone who's mature you probably learned your lesson that dealing with a person that has an ex kids or a person as you know it, you know being involved in a person in a relationship that has kids ex partner or previous marriage or different nationality with versus you or different religion versus you or such an extreme character versus you you know that this this is the this is not gonna work because you've been through that already for some of you so it really is no judgment some people really know what they want what what's good for them so this is kind of what's reflecting um in this in this reading today that there's someone out there that is really sitting um, as a hermit, um, waiting for the right person, right time, um, right, you know, right moment, when to say yes, when to say no, who to accept, who to reject. So it's good because it's self-empowerment that you can control who you want to be. Even if, if, if you know, even if you've, 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 you've kind of feel like there's an attraction, but you hold back. You know, it's it, it's a power to hold back because you know that it it's it, it's going to be in a serious like before you fall in in love, before you fall in love or you get yourself into a trap. You can actually prevent yourself because you know what you want. So it's it's really so, uh, it, what what I'm picking up in here. It's a person that is determined, a person that is idealistic, a person that knows what he or she wants. Okay. And um, this is one of the first you're reading that I'm picking up. Someone who's really have a, a strong, a, a strong sense of control of what they want, who they want, and who can they let in. And as a result, you know you've got the page of wands. So there's there's some good news coming towards you, Pisces, and and it's relating to probably person adjusting towards your lifestyle, life lifestyle. Um, um, what you want, what you need, and what they can offer you. Okay, so this is for you, Pisces. Thank, thanks for your time. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you soon again with your um, love romantic reading. Bye.